Hi guys. So today you're at a different angle. And the reason why is because I'm coming on real quick to share a tip with you guys. So some of you guys don't have fuse tools. Bless you, puppy. Some of you guys don't have fuse tools. And um, I don't know if you guys already knew this, but I'm just going to share it anyway. Here is a card, a pocket letter that I'm working on. And I have a shaker card or a shaker pocket that I made right there. And as you can see, nothing's coming out when I shake it. So, um, I wanted to share this tip with you guys. Uh, all I did here was hot glue the top of it. Oh, I'm, I'm not in frame. See, this is why I don't record like this. All I did was hot glue the top of it. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. All you will need is a hot glue gun. So, I do have a fuse tool. But since I was working with my hot glue gun and it was on, my, hot, my fuse tool is all the way down there. I'm not going to go and look for it. So... Um, here I have a, a sequin mix that I already made and this is for a different pocket letter that I am going to be starting. Let me see if this will focus. So I just mixed it all up already. Um, whenever you have shimmery stuff on the camera, it never focuses. So here's my pocket letter sleeve. All I'm going to do is stick this in there. And I see people use, um, sometimes they use washi tape to seal the pocket. Oops, and I just made a mess with the glitter. Sometimes people use, um, yes, leave that right there, Jerry. Sometimes people use the washi tape to seal the pocket, but I don't think that's like the best for me. I've tried that and it doesn't really, um, it doesn't really stay closed. And give me one second. All right, sorry about that. It's just my baby was in here grabbing all my stuff and bringing it to me. So, all right. In here, I already have my sequin mix. And I usually don't add a lot of sequins because I don't really like it to be all full. I like it so that when they shake it, it moves around freely. And, yeah. So, as you can see, or well, maybe you can't see it. Let me fold this side back just so you can see. My pocket is right here. So, all I'm going to do is, of course, your glue gun has to be heated up already. Lay it down flat, making sure that you keep your stuff at the bottom. And you want to do this step quick, because if not, you will melt your um, plastic. So, what we're going to do first is, you see the lines that the pocket letter has? Let me see if I can put a colored paper behind here so that... You guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, here, we'll use this white one. Okay, the pocket letters have that fusing on the sides. So what we're going to do first is lift up the pocket and apply glue like as straight as possible along these edges, straight up. So let me just show you because I'm better at showing. And making sure you keep all your sequins and stuff at the bottom so that they don't get stuck in the glue. Okay, so let me see if we can see it. All I'm going to do is quickly add hot glue to both ends. And if you don't hurry, the glue will dry and your pocket will melt with the heat of the glue gun. So just do that and seal it like that on the sides. Give me one second. All right. So if you have the glue strands hanging in there like I do um, just take something like this and take it out you can use your finger but I'm trying to make it so you guys can see what I'm doing for some reason when you make a tutorial everything that can go wrong possibly possibly go wrong goes wrong <laughs> so yeah all right So that's just to seal our edges. Now, we're going to take this. You can see that it's still open. And quickly, let me lift it with my finger right quick. I'm going to add the glue like that. I don't know if you guys can see what I just did. I'm going to add the glue that way, like that, along. And try and make this line as neat and straight as possible. Okay, 
and you seal it and when you're squishing it down or pressing it down make sure that you don't um squeeze it too hard or press it too hard because you will make this hot glue seep through okay now for some reason i feel like this didn't seal but it did okay all right so there you go after your glue dries your pocket letter it's sealed the shaker bag so you can tell there so this is what it looks like let me bring it closer that is what it looks like if you can see the difference and this is because I'm trying to record a tutorial and it came out like that on this one um, let me see if I can turn this around without showing you who it's for this is the back of my shaker pocket on this one let me see if this will focus okay there we go as you can see the glue didn't really seep like that on this one because this one wasn't really I wasn't recording but um, oops, I hope I didn't show. Oh my god, Liz, you're so clumsy. <laughs> but yeah, there you have it. A shaker pocket without the fuse tool. So hopefully you guys found this useful. Um, if you don't like how that looks, you can add like a trim on there. Something pretty, but this is just the beginning to another pocket litter that I'm starting. And that's how it looks so hopefully you guys found this tip useful and if you do make it i hope it can, turns out successful uh it is something so easy to do and you don't need a fuse tool to do it so hope you guys have a blessed day bye